Hey everybody, my name is Alex and we are in part two of our multi-GPU video series. If you haven't watched part one, I recommend doing that. We have installed our dependencies, we have installed PostCLI and verified that our providers show up. Now we're going to prep our post data drive. This is going to be a little bit different for everybody, but in my case, I have an NVMe drive. It's a, I believe a one terabyte drive that's going to be connected to um, my computer and I'm going to mount it to a specific point and I'm going to use that. If you have an SSD, it's going to be very similar, but in this case specifically, this is a completely separate drive from my computer. I'm going to be re physically removing it and moving it to my node. So if you're doing kind of like an all-in-one thing where you have your node, you have post CLI, your Smesher all in one, and you're just using a folder on your hard drive, you're just going to be pointing to that folder. You don't have to do all of this drive prep. But for those of you who are using like a dedicated NVMe, like a one terabyte NVMe, you're hooking it up to your Smesher and then you're going to be moving it. This is this will work for you. Um, again, like if you already have the, an idea of where you're going to do your post data, you can actually skip this whole video entirely. It's going to be part three where we actually do our multi GPU smashing. So uh, let's get started and get this drive ready to go. I'm going to make my mount point directory. So let's get started by doing sudo make dir media post data. That's where I like to always put my post data and if I do ls-l media we have our post data folder here then we're going to do ls blk and find the drive so mine's an NVMe drive it's 931 uh, gigabytes here and I'm going to be filling that up with six I believe six uh, no I'll be doing 13 units so we'll get into that in a second here and what we want to do is format this drive. So I'm going to do sudo make file system dash T ext4 is what we're going to be using and we'll do dev slash nvme 0n1. All right. Our drive is mounted, we are not mounted, our drive is formatted, and we are ready to go to the next step, which is just taking a look, df-h, um, actually this isn't gonna show our drive yet because they need to be mounted. So let's clear this and let's prepare this for mounting. So we'll do lsblk-f to get our UUID. This is the unique ID for your drive. I'm gonna copy that. And then we're going to do sudo nano etc fstab fs tab, and we're going to make sure this drive mounts automatically. And although we're eventually going to be moving it, sometimes I have to cycle my computer, and I don't want to go through mounting process every single time. So I'll just do uuid equals the uuid that we copied before. Yours will be different. I'll do our mount point. So this is where it's going to automatically mount it. We know the file system type. We're going to do defaults, no A time, and no fail. So this means when we eventually remove this drive, it's not going to have booting issues because it can't find the drive. And then we'll do 0.0, .0 control X, Y to save that. And now we can do sudo mount dash AV and we can see that it's been successfully mounted to that mount point. And now if we do df-h, we'll see that we have only 870 gigabytes available. So somehow we're missing, even though we just formatted it, we're missing a bunch of space here. So there's something we can do and let's unmount this. So you mount media post data and we're gonna need sudo in there. And now what we're going to do is sudo tune2fs, we're going to do dash r0, and we're going to do dev nvme 0 and one And what this is going to do, typically when you format something in ext4, there is space reserved on that drive for your root uh, user. 
don't do this if this is where your operating system is installed. Only do this if this is like a dedicated post data drive. And we're just removing all that reserved space. So you can see it says setting reserved block count to zero. Now, if we do sudo mount dash AV, we've successfully mounted that drive again. And if we DF dash H, we can see we have the full 916 gigabytes ready for us to use. And now what we're gonna do is figure out the number of units. And that's pretty simple. We're just going to do uh, 916 and we're gonna divide that by uh, 64 because each unit is 64. And the most I can do on this is gonna be 13. And that's because this is showing in gigabytes and one, uh, gigabyte is 1.074 gigabytes, so we have to do some conversion, and we actually don't quite have 916 gigabytes. We actually have, uh, let me do the math here, and I'm not doing this in my head. I have a calculator. Uh, we're going to divide that by 1.074, and we actually only have 852 gigabytes available. So if we divide that by 64, it means we have 13.2 num units of space available. We always round down, so we're gonna be 13 units that is available. So I'm just keeping that in my mind for the next step where we're actually going to uh, run the post CLI command. So that's it for this video. Our drive is prepped. We are ready to go. The next thing we're gonna do is calculate the files and how we're going to split the load between the GPUs. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.